Major League Baseball proposes playoff changes for 2022, and it's not the dumbest thing they've done this offseason. But it's close. Hey guys, it's Josh, the 90 Note All, coming to today to talk about the proposed changes to Major League Baseball's playoffs in 2022. But before we get into that, guys, take a moment, subscribe to the channel. That will let you know when new videos come out, doing stuff pretty much every day. And with the baseball season starting, pitchers and catchers reported today. We've got college baseball going on. Lots of great stuff's going to be coming out. We've got interviews coming out. We're going to try to do some videos of in-game. Just a lot of fun stuff. And get a chance to talk baseball with everybody. So guys, just remember, subscribe, click like on the video, it does help out. But let's jump into this. Oh my gosh, Major League Baseball, 10 minutes after I posted the video of how MLB has been a cluster this offseason, they go and do this. And I wish they would have done it an hour earlier so I could have included it in all the stuff I was talking about. But no, they did it a little bit later, so I'm doing a whole video just on this to talk about it, to break it down. So what the proposal is, is 14 teams will make the playoffs. Seven National League, seven American League. That is one shy of half of Major League Baseball will make the playoffs. And, and I got a problem with that. That means that the regular season is even more watered down. And it means that, you know, teams don't really care about the 162 games. You just have to be good enough to be in the upper half of Major League Baseball. That's it. That's it, and I, I don't like that. I don't like how watered down you know, the regular season is going to be. And, you know, right now I'm okay with the the wild card, the one-game wild card, because those teams aren't really rewarded with being a playoff team because you got to go into a one-game playoff, and then you have to go face, you know, a division champion. So I'm okay with the current settings. But this new the new format, if it goes through, the number one team gets to – a buy through the wild card round. So they will end up having five, six days off in which they don't have to do anything. And that's not a great thing for baseball players. You have that many days off, you know, for pitchers that throws them out of their, their, their rotation, out of their rhythm. Hitters, that's a long time without seeing live, live pitchers. And it does make a difference. So the number one team actually kind of in some ways will be at a disadvantage. And then you talk the other two uh, division champions will have to play in the wild card round. And there's going to be four wild cards. And these are going to be three game series, which that's fine. It's short and stuff. But once again, you're talking about the number one team doesn't get to play for six days. And let's, let's assume there's ties. What if there's ties, division ties, wild card ties? Worst case scenario, this could really stretch things out for a number one overall team. And that's not good for their pitching, not good for their hitting. It throws things off. So, but even that aside, I'm not a fan of this because you have now all of a sudden you have the wild card round, you have what is essentially the divisional round, then you have the championship round, and then you have the World Series. If things, <laughs> this is going to go to early mid November, it feels like, and I, I don't like that. Yes, I want baseball year-round. That's a great, fun thing to watch baseball all year round. But the World Series, let's say a, a team, even you know, like Minnesota, makes it to the World Series. They can have snow. Colorado could have snow. I mean, there are teams that could have snow at this point in the year, and I don't want a snow World Series. That that is, that's not what I want for a World Series. So I don't like the fact that it's pushing it back. I don't like that it throws the number one team off. And then the thing that really bothers me is that the number one team in in the American League, the number one team in the National League, gets to pick who they play in that divisional round. That to me is just weird. That That is just weird that they get to go out and pick because that is like bulletin board material. We're the number one team. We think you're the weakest team. Let's go play. That, that weaker team is going to be pissed off that they got chosen. They're going to be fired up, and you're going to see the number one seed get knocked off quite a bit, I think, because guys are going to be motivated and mad that they were chosen as the lesser of teams. So I'm not a fan of this. Not a fan whatsoever. 
I think this is just more Major League Baseball doing stupid things, and instead of taking care of what really needs to be taken care of, they're over here trying to fix things that don't need fixed. The playoffs right now do not need fixed. They are fine as they are. I like the way they are right now. And some would say, well, you know, did you like it beforehand? I actually liked the idea of the one-game playoff for the wild card. I liked it. That was a cool idea. It made sense to me to kind of punish the wild card teams. But now you're going to have four wild card teams. And just, no. No, you don't need that many wild card teams. This isn't the NBA. This isn't the NFL. And, you know, the NFL playoffs works perfect for the NFL. It works perfectly for them. The NBA, I would argue, really kind of limits the importance of the regular season. Most people don't even care about the NBA until the playoffs. And probably in the second or third round because, you know, just about everybody gets into the playoffs. So no one really cares that much about the regular season. So I don't like this. I think it hurts the game. But you know what? Major League Baseball going out it again and doing something, something stupid in my opinion. And, and once again, I know there's baseball writers out there who are trying to defend this, trying to say this is good for the game. It will increase excitement for all the fan bases. No, it won't. No, it won't. I'm a Mariners fan. And if they have a chance to make that fourth wild card spot, I'm not going to be real excited about that because I know that they're not a competitive team to make the World Series. Yes, they might make the playoffs, but I don't want a playoff team. I want a World Series team. I want to cheer for a team that has a legitimate chance to win the World Series. That's what I want as a fan. I want a championship team, not just a, oh, we're good enough to be the fourth wild card. That's not exciting. That's not excitement. That's not building the game. That's just throwing teams into the playoffs just so they can make some extra money with playoff tickets and this and that. So, not a fan of this. Not a fan of whatsoever. And it's just, it's another opportunity for Major League Baseball to focus the attention away from what really needs to be fixed. Minor League Baseball salaries needs to be fixed. Stopping teams from intentionally crapping on their season before the season even starts. That's something you can fix, something you can work on, something you can do, but they don't do it. They don't do it. They're, they're over here focusing on all these things. I mean, you get major league teams like the Mets who talk about how they can't afford to pay these minor leaguers, but yet they can put $57 million into fixing up their spring training facility and their clubhouse that they only use for six weeks in the year. Six weeks. $57 million. Someone figured out you could pay uh, 175 minor leaguers like $45,000 a year for seven years with that. That's their entire farm system. And minor leaguers don't even need that much money. $45,000 is, is a dream come true for them. You can cut that in half and say, let's pay them $24,000 a year. $24,000 a year, which is not a huge amount. Let's be honest, not a huge amount, but minor leaguers would be doing flips. They'd be head over heels excited if they found out they would get that much money in a year just for, for being a part of the organization. So this blows my mind. Now, granted, I know the Mets are horribly ran, the, the ownership needs to go, but they're a perfect example of how disconnected the owners are and the commissioner are with reality. They're just, they're out there. They're out there and there's no coming back. So guys, I am against this playoff proposal. Not because I don't want baseball. Not because I don't want to see playoff baseball. But because I want competitive playoff baseball. I want to see the best teams who have earned it over 162 games fight it out in the postseason. And a lot of people were saying, well, the Nationals were a wild card and they won, they won everything. Yes, they were a wild card. And they won the one game playoff. And then they won the series they needed to to get into the World Series. They had to earn it. Being a, a fourth wild card spot, that's that's not earning it in my opinion. And it just this messes everything up. And once again, it takes away the focus from what really needs to be focused on. Major League Baseball is a cluster right now, and they're hurting themselves. 
They are hurting themselves. It's not going to get better until they realize they're being stupid. So guys, that's my thoughts. Why don't you guys leave a comment down below on what your thoughts are on this proposed Major League Baseball playoff change for 2022. And let me know. Do you agree? Do you disagree? You know, let me know. Voice your opinion down below. So guys, I'm Josh, the 98 Know-It-All. Coming to you today just to kind of give you once again my thoughts on how Major League Baseball is just screwing it up one time after another. So guys, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.